You've seen it in Hollywood. Hackers breaking into government systems in seconds, typing at lightning speed, green code scrolling down the screen. But how real is all of this? We've all been there, glued to the screen as some digital mastermind infiltrates the FBI, CIA, you name it, with a few frantic keystrokes. It's captivating, thrilling, and utter bullshit. Today we're exposing the biggest lies in movie hacking and comparing them to real-life hacking techniques. Welcome to Anonymod, your go-to place for cybersecurity and ethical hacking insights. Before we dive in make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more cybersecurity content. In movies hacking takes seconds, a few keystrokes and boom, the hacker is inside the system. A montage of frantic typing, maybe a bead of sweat dripping down the forehead and bam they're in. But in real life it's not that easy, think about it, these systems, the ones they're supposedly breaking into in the blink of an eye, they're complex, layers upon layers of security protocols, firewalls, encryption, it's a digital fortress, not some flimsy wooden door you can just kick down. Real hacking takes time, reconnaissance, vulnerability scanning, exploit development, and even then it's not guaranteed. We're talking days, weeks, sometimes even months of meticulous planning and execution. Imagine a safe cracker trying to crack a vault with a paper clip and a chewing gum wrapper. That's essentially what Hollywood portrays. It makes for good entertainment, sure, but it's a far cry from the reality of breaching sophisticated security systems. And let's not forget the human element. System administrators, security analysts, these are real people constantly monitoring, updating, and patching vulnerabilities. It's a constant cat and mouse game, not a one-sided blitz. So, the next time you see some hacker in a movie effortlessly waltz into a secure network, remember, Hollywood's full of it. Real hacking is a different beast altogether. Looks cool, right? But real hackers don't see glowing green text flying everywhere. You know the scene, dark room, hacker bathed in the eerie glow of a dozen monitors, lines of green code cascading down the screen like digital rain. It's visually striking, sure, but it's about as realistic as a unicorn riding a roller coaster. First off, the green text thing? A relic of the past. Those green on black terminals were a product of their time, limited by the technology available. Today, hackers use a variety of tools and interfaces, many of which look surprisingly normal. Think code editors, network analysis tools, custom scripts, often with clean modern interfaces. The focus is on efficiency and functionality, not visual flair. They're not trying to win an aesthetic award, they're trying to get the job done. And the whole typing like a madman thing? Another Hollywood exaggeration. Real hacking often involves more strategic thinking, research and planning than brute force typing. It's about finding vulnerabilities, exploiting them and covering your tracks, all of which requires a more measured approach. So, while those flashy visuals might look cool on the big screen, don't be fooled. Real hacking is less about visual spectacle and more about understanding systems, exploiting weaknesses, and staying one step ahead. In movies, hackers work from random coffee shops, breaking into banks while sipping on a latte. But in reality, not so much. Sure, you can connect to public Wi-Fi, but that's about as far as the realism goes. Public networks are notoriously insecure. Anyone with the right tools and know-how could be snooping on your traffic, potentially intercepting sensitive information. And let's be real, would you really risk carrying out a high-stakes cyber operation in a public place, surrounded by potential witnesses? It's just bad tradecraft. Real hackers value anonymity and security above all else. They're more likely to operate from secure private locations, using VPNs, encrypted connections, and other measures to mask their tracks. They're not about to risk their freedom for a cappuccino and a croissant. So, while the image of a lone hacker casually infiltrating the CIA from a bustling coffee shop might make for a cool movie scene, it's about as realistic as a talking dog. Real hacking requires a level of secrecy and security that just isn't possible in a public setting. Chapter 4. Myth number 4. Hacking any password instantly. If movie hackers are this good at guessing passwords, they should play the lottery. In real life, hacking passwords isn't this simple. You know the drill. The hero needs access to a secure system so they get their trusty hacker friend to crack the password. A few seconds of furious typing later and voila, access granted. If only it were that easy. In reality, password cracking is a much more complex and time-consuming process. Modern passwords, especially those protected by multi-factor authentication, are designed to be incredibly difficult to crack through brute force alone. 
Real hackers employ a variety of techniques from social engineering and phishing to exploiting software vulnerabilities and leveraging stolen credentials. It's rarely as simple as just guessing the right combination of characters. Think about it. If cracking passwords were as easy as movies make it seem, online security would be a complete joke. The reality is, it's a constant arms race between those trying to secure systems and those trying to exploit them. So the next time you see a movie character crack a password in seconds, remember it's Hollywood magic, not real-world hacking. Chapter 5. Myth. Number 5. Hackers can hack anything. Reality check. Hackers cannot just hack into anything whenever they want. Hollywood loves to portray hackers as digital gods, capable of bending any system to their will. But the truth is, even the most skilled hackers have their limits. Hacking isn't about knowing some magical code that unlocks everything, it's about understanding vulnerabilities and exploiting them. And not all systems are created equal. Some systems are inherently more secure than others with multiple layers of protection, constant monitoring and robust security protocols. These systems are incredibly difficult to breach, even for the most skilled attackers. Plus, hackers often specialize in specific areas. Some might excel at exploiting web applications while others might focus on network infrastructure or social engineering. It's rare to find a jack-of-all-trades who can hack anything and everything. And let's not forget the legal ramifications. Hacking into systems without authorization is a crime, and the consequences can be severe. Real hackers are well aware of this, and often operate within ethical and legal boundaries. So, while the idea of an all-powerful hacker might be a compelling narrative device, it's important to remember that even in the digital world, there are limits. Chapter 6 What Real Hacking Looks Like So, what does real hacking actually look like? Let's break it down. Forget the Hollywood cliches, real hacking is less about frantic typing and more about meticulous planning, research, and execution. It often starts with reconnaissance, gathering information about the target system, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and understanding its defenses. Think of it as casing the joint before attempting a heist. Next comes vulnerability analysis, probing the system for weaknesses, testing its defenses, and looking for any cracks in its armor. This could involve using automated tools, manual testing, or a combination of both. Once a vulnerability is identified, the hacker will then develop or acquire an exploit, a piece of code designed to take advantage of that specific weakness. This is where things get technical, requiring a deep understanding of software, operating systems, and networking protocols. With the exploit in hand, the hacker can then attempt to gain access to the system. This might involve bypassing security measures, escalating privileges, or installing backdoors for persistent access. But it doesn't end there. Real hackers are also masters of covering their tracks, erasing logs, hiding their presence and making it difficult to trace their activity back to them. It's a constant game of cat and mouse, with defenders constantly trying to stay one step ahead of attackers. And while it might not be as visually dramatic as Hollywood portrays it, it's a fascinating and constantly evolving field. Chapter 7. Hollywood Hacking That's Actually Real. Now let's give credit where it's due. Some movies actually got hacking right. While Hollywood often takes liberties with technical accuracy, there are a few films that manage to portray hacking in a surprisingly realistic way. One such example is Sneakers from 1992, a classic hacker film that, despite its age, still holds up remarkably well in terms of its technical accuracy. The film showcases a team of security experts who use social engineering, technical skills, and a bit of old-fashioned trickery to expose a powerful encryption device. Another notable example is War Games from 1983, a film that, while somewhat dated in its depiction of technology, accurately highlights the potential dangers of hacking and the importance of cybersecurity. The film's central premise, that a hacker could inadvertently trigger a nuclear war, served as a wake-up call about the real-world implications of cyber attacks. More recently, films like Mr. Robot from 2015 to 2019 have garnered praise for their realistic portrayal of hacking, cybersecurity, and the culture surrounding it. The show delves into the technical aspects of hacking while also exploring the psychological and social factors that drive people to engage in cybercrime. While these films might not always get every technical detail right, they at least attempt to portray hacking in a more nuanced and realistic way than the typical Hollywood fare. They highlight the skills, knowledge, and dedication required to succeed in the world of cybersecurity.
both for ethical and unethical purposes. Outro Stay safe out there. Hollywood may exaggerate hacking but the real thing is even more fascinating. We've debunked the myths, exposed the Hollywood hacks and given you a glimpse into the world of real hacking. It's a world of constant learning, adaptation, and outsmarting the opposition. Want to learn more about ethical hacking? Subscribe for real hacking insights, tutorials, and cybersecurity tips. We'll dive deeper into the tools, techniques, and methodologies used by security professionals to protect systems and data. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment below your favorite hacking movie, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. See you in the next video. Stay safe online.